Nephrotic syndrome is not a disease in itself, but a description of three specific signs. Proteinuria, low circulating protein and body swelling. But what does that mean? Let's rewind. The kidney has a lot of functions. One is that they filter the blood to take out the bad stuff like toxins through the urine. Another is that they hold on to important things like proteins and stop them being passed into the urine. This blood filtration takes place in the glomerulus. The glomeruli of the kidney are made up of tiny blood vessels and the glomerular filtration bag. There are approximately one million of these in each human kidney. The filtration takes place through specialised endothelial cells, podocytes and a structure called the basement membrane. The basement membrane is a scaffold to support podocyte cells. Damage to any of these layers in the filtration barrier can lead to the leaking of protein from the blood into the urine. This is called proteinuria. This causes low protein in the blood and swelling of the legs, arms and face, known as edema. In some patients, it can also be associated with a high cholesterol level in the blood. This clinical picture is called nephrotic syndrome. It is actually caused by a number of different conditions which affect both kidneys, such as a change in podocyte genes, problems with the immune system and even diabetes. Despite the similarities in the clinical picture, each of the conditions has a different treatment and therefore it is important to identify which of these conditions is causing the nephrotic syndrome. If your plant is wilting at home, there could be a number of reasons. You could be overwatering it, underwatering it, it might get too much sun or too little. In order to treat it properly, you need to know what's causing the wilting. It's the same for nephrotic syndrome in humans. In order to find the cause, a nephrologist will need to do a number of tests, including urine and blood tests and often a kidney biopsy. A kidney biopsy is where a small piece of one kidney is removed and looked at under a microscope. With this information, doctors will try to diagnose the underlying condition in order to give the best treatment for nephrotic syndrome.